Chris Allen is here, man. I feel like we just saw you at that Hard Rock thing. That was cool, right? You know what tripped me out about you? Like I saw something about, um, I saw something that night which kind of cemented you for me, and just the kind of person you are. Because people may not know this okay. about you, because you know they see Chris, they think he's kind of soft spoken. Hans doesn't like the spotlight, or whatever. <laughs> that's because he's busy, not in the shadows, but that's because he's busy when he's not in the spotlight reading a fan's note that the fan slipped to me at the Hard Rock. Oh. And I gave it to him, and he read it, and he was like, which one of you did this? And then he took pictures with that fan. Yeah. And let me tell you, I got like a five-page email back from that woman about what had gone on and, and something that like some of your music had really done for her. Yeah, man, and was I was like shocked deep. that, you know, it was deep. It was really deep. And I guess you have a lot of deep fans. There's some of them that are pretty deep, yeah. Do you ever like, uh, I mean, I know that it, I know that you can't really deal with all of them individually, but how do you... How do you deal with that? Because these people, they put like these hopes and dreams and this emotion on this paper and they hand it to you. Yeah. Because one song or something you did yeah. like moves them. Like how does that, normal people don't go through that, man. <laughs> like, I know? mean, for me, man, it's just uh, giving those people the time that they deserve, whether right. it be just hanging out with them or giving them a, hu give them a hug or right. just um, telling them everything's going to be all right, you know. So um, I think that's just what they need to hear sometimes. So the rain comes to an end, kind of. A new idol gets crowned. Yeah, man, I'm excited about it. pumped about the break? Are you going to yeah. get a break? No, it's going to be cool, man. I mean, it's going to be, hey, Crystal or Lee, take right. this and run with it. I'm going to go do my thing now, you know. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, it's going to be awesome, man. When's a vacation for you and the wife? No, no time for vacation. Nothing? No. Really? We're about to go on tour, so we'll be out the whole summer. Speaking of which, they're playing uh, with Bare Naked Ladies, and they've got a show at Meriwether Post Pavilion coming up, and that's going to be big, too. That's absolutely, man. How did that man. whole thing get down? Did, did agents put that together? Agents. Or really? Agents, yeah. I have no idea how it happened. So you're just like, they're like, hey, we're going to put you on with the Bare Naked Ladies. You're like, if I had a million dollars, wait a minute, I do. <laughs> no, I wish. No, you're like, well, I have to tax <laughs> no, but like, how is that? Because like, you know, a year ago you weren't doing music like that. Oh man, no, and now not you're at all. with bare naked ladies. You're playing massive stages. You're on TV all the time. You're working with the UN on stuff. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's awesome, man. Because I get, I mean, we're playing with Keith Urban this summer. We're playing right. with Maroon Five. Right. Wow. Um, it's gonna be a cool summer, man. And I'm blessed to get to do what I do, man. I get to play music and people like it and people yeah. enjoy it, so it's fun. So like, now, songwriting for the next stuff. Have you already started working on it? Yeah, man. I've been. I mean, I started pretty much like right afterwards. <laughs> Right, right after the last one was over, and so I'm uh, working on new stuff, and can't wait to get back in the studio. So tell me about touring. Mm -hmm. You're on the road all the time. I guess yeah. you're kind of used to it now. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst thing about touring? Right, right now it's planes, man. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. but we're about to get on a bus, which should be really cool. So buses are better than being bus on planes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, you have to when you get on. Uh, who can actually like get good sleep on a plane? No, Anybody? No, no. Uh, I, stayed, I stayed, too, stayed up all night. That's why. I, yeah. was, I had no choice. I was like, <sighs> Yeah, I yeah, mean, it's you're just. Sitting up and you're kind yeah, of you're awesome. sitting up. Right. You can lay down on a bus. You get in your own little cubby. Um, yeah. And you can conditions. shut yourself out from everything else. And yeah. it's fun. And the, like the little buzz from the engine makes you go to sleep, man. I'm about they, to go to sleep. Guys, do the guys in your band or whatever, do they like, you know, screw with you? I guess that's part We're of screwed it too. each other, man. Yeah? Yeah. So, nothing. What's the worst thing that happened to you? Well, nothing really nothing yet. Nothing fire. yet. It'll nothing happen. yet. It'll happen. It'll I promise him. So. He's going to have like Dest and X in his boxer shorts and stuff. He's going to oh. put him. It's going to be the goddamn. Don't give him any ideas, man. No, Come man. On. Just be careful, though, because you know the bare naked ladies fools are crazy. Yeah, they are crazy. Best place about playing live. Best thing about playing live. Going to a venue. Do you like like something you have to put on the rider? Something you, you can do at these venues? People singing your songs, man. It's the yeah. best. When you can like stop singing and other people can carry the load, it's, it's the best thing in the world, man. A trip, yo. Yeah. A trip. Man, life has been a strange trip for Chris Allen. Dude, I can't wait to see you in D.C. this summer. You've earned it, man. Thanks, Congratulations man. on everything. Thank and, you so uh, much. And the new music that you've got coming, I hear, is going to be just as phenomenal as Thanks, the stuff man. we've already got. So. Thanks. Keep it up, dude. Chris Allen is here.